This is a quick video demonstration of how to connect to your DVR using Tech Pro SS, our new app for iPhones and iPads. One thing you have to have uh, ready is the port forwarding on your uh, router already. If you wanted to access the DVR from outside the network, your ports have to be forward. Uh, the default ports on the DVR, uh, actually the port that the phone uses to connect to the DVR is 37777 is the TCP port and also uh, might as well just forward all of the ports that uh, you have on your uh, DVR on your router so uh, another thing you have to have is your phone has to be connected to your local Wi-Fi but you're planning to use it while you're in the same network as the DVR and I have two connections right here right now I'm connected to my internal Wi-Fi so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the app and I'm going to device manager and I already created a new connection called Tech Pro Office in. This has the internal IP of the DVR so uh, there are actually your, your DVR is not going to have the same configurations everything uh, it's different based on the network where, where the DVR is plugged in so do not copy any of this information. This is just for reference only. Uh, the defaults are for the DVR is 192.168.1.108, and the TCP port that the DVR uses is 37777, and the uh, default username and password is admin for the username and admin for the password. Now, as you notice, I have all the DVRs here, but just focus on this right now. I'm have I, I have Tech Pro Office in. In Office DVR, uh, the Office DVR is the external connection. So if you have a DVR that you're going to be accessing while you're inside the network and while you're outside the network, you have to have two different connections. So um, this is my external connection for the for the DVR. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Real Mon the Real Time Monitor, and right now I'm connected locally on my network because if you look there is a little Wi-Fi connection right there so what what I'm gonna use is my connection that I created the Tech Pro office in why because it has the internal IP so that uh, the DVR will connect faster if I wanted to use the 3G connection I cannot use this connection I have to use the office DVR because it has the external uh, settings of the DVR, or the external IP for me to connect to it. So again, the way you connect to, you go to uh, real-time monitor and then you will be presented with this. You can uh, click the little plus. You can only view four, four cameras on the iPhone and 16 cameras on the iPad. Okay? No matter, regardless of the, the, the app, if it's the free version or the paid version. Okay, so to connect to the camera to start streaming, I just click the plus. This will be presented here. I choose from my internal DVR, for example. I wanted to choose this camera, and there you go. And I keep adding as many cameras as I want up to four. So that's basically that's how easy you add cameras to your uh, phone to for you to view them. It's extremely easy. You can from here move them around. You can go full screen if you want to. There is a, more options here. This option right here is when you have favorites and then you can scroll uh, through your favorites just by dialing this, okay? Right now it's not gonna work because I don't have any favorites saved. So if I go back to uh, real time monitor and you see the connections are gone so I have to open them again it's just that easy to connect to notice too that if you have a camera that has a microphone you can hear from here so what you can do is it, this particular camera has a microphone but there's no one there so for me to listen to the microphone I have to scroll here and if it was someone there you will be able to hear it but right now there's no one there and then my volume is all the way up so also from here you can if you have two-way audio talk so if you have a microphone there so you can hear people and then you have a speaker that you can talk to someone in that office 
you can hold this button and it's going to ask you okay where you want to enable the bi-directional talk so you choose that particular DVR if I click there and then I click back who will be able to hear me so uh, so that's one of the things you can do here in this configuration you can take a snapshot and you can add this camera to your favorites if you want to or you can close it you can double tap again you can add any other cameras so it's very simple this is this is the way it works uh, another thing you can do it on landscape and then you have more options here you can click on here and then add another camera if you want to and again up to four cameras so if you have four cameras if you're interested to to watch more than four cameras or you have uh, different cameras that you're interested in I, I recommend you to use the iPad or what you can do is uh, you can add these four cameras then create a favorite so you can uh, go ahead and click in it click here and then add let's say first cameras okay then what I will do I will close them all we'll click it I will click in hand and I add my other cameras I say that and let's pick this I know I already have that one and that one and then I add it to my favorites this will be my secondary cameras All right so from here I can do you know I can have this configuration in okay and then I can use the scroller what I showed you before so if I scroll like this oh that's another connection I have there let me scroll the other way okay this is one of my favorites and then right here this is my other second favorite from that same DVR so if you scroll the other way we'll go back if you scroll like this it will go to the next favorite and that's how you do it that's pretty much how you can uh, add more than four cameras and pretty much uh, as your favorites and then you scroll by the favorites but it's pretty simple how to connect to it now what I'm gonna show you is how to do it externally so one thing you have to do to simulate that you're outside the network I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to real-time monitor and obviously I will not use the Tech Pro Office in I will use the Office DVR I already configured that portion so the IP everything is mapped and I have all my port forward and done and all that oh it chose the wrong camera this office DVR and that's pretty much how you do it it's very simple as long as you have all your port forwarding correct everything should work just fine and again uh, this has been a, a presentation of our new app Tech Process uh, Lite and Plus and I will be making more videos of how to use any other feature or other features of this app and uh, I hope you like it